We're Tal and Mads, and we just moved into our self-converted camper van with our dog Bowie. We spent the last few months traveling all over Baja, Mexico. Last week, we started van life in the States and explored sunny California. Now it's time to take on a state that's known for its mind-blowing natural landscapes. Welcome to Utah. We read all about this cliffside camping spot, and now we're on our way up to go check it out. We are so excited to be here in Utah, but before we explore the rest, we need to get a few things done, do a little housekeeping around here, and we need to switch out some of our warmer clothes because the Baja sun isn't here anymore, unfortunately. So we keep this big bin of extra clothes in the back, and that's where we're gonna put all of our summer things right now. Goodbye, summer clothes. a bad place to be reorganizing the garage. We are going to get everything spick and span and nice and tidy for the rest of Utah. This morning we are drinking Starbucks because we blew a fuse so our inverter is not working and we can't boil water to make coffee. Wow, plastic melted. Look at that. Something really wrong down here. And we're back. We have lots more space. We've got our one of like three tools that we brought. <laughs> Looks like the fuse didn't even blow. I don't know if the connections were loose that it, it caused something to melt, but we thankfully have a whole other set and a new fuse, so we're gonna get to work. Vegas, we didn't realize everything cost a million times more because it's located on the strip. And so we bought a juice and it cost, I don't even want to tell you because <laughs> I don't want to piss you off on this fine Sunday morning. <laughs> but it came in this jar. And so help me God, I will use this jar for every drink for the rest of my life to make it worth it. it So nice after a long day of chores. <laughs> Perfectly to end the day. In this view, I feel like I could stay here for a while. We ran out of olive oil, and that's really important. <laughs> <laughs>
morning, friends. Today is a new day and we are heading to a new spot. We are pretty sad to be leaving this stunning spot, but hopefully the next will be just as nice. Come with us. Time to go. does it get? Potable water fill up at the grocery store. What do they say? Two birds, one stone? It's kind of sad. I'm gonna just say two check marks, one pen. <laughs> That's some serious pressure. I feel like once you start doing one chore, you end up just kind of knocking them all down. You get in the mood. We're feeling like doing our laundry and washing all of our sheets and everything. So we're Probably gonna just find a RV park or campground in town that has all of the above and maybe some extras. I also want to apologize for wearing this t-shirt every single time I'm uh, on camera. It's getting to the point where I feel like Harley Davidson should be sponsoring the video. So if you or anyone you know works for Harley Davidson, please contact talonmads at gmail.com. Not too shabby. Crazy Horse RV Resort, 25 USD. Whoa. <laughs> well, we've had a nice reset at this campground here. Mm. Oh my God, America, you do <laughs> campgrounds right. <laughs> We're officially ready to go back off grid. We're gonna do a hike tomorrow with a friend that we actually met in Baja. So cheers to that. We're sharing a glass. <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. <laughs> Just hold it. Not for one day. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. We are about to enter our first slot canyon in Utah. Right face of it. Slot canyons have a pretty funny name. If you didn't know, they are called Buckskin Gulch. I don't know what a gulch is. That whole word sounds like a, a burp. Buckskin, not really sure what that is either. <laughs> Put it together, you got a slot canyon. <laughs> Buckskin Gulch is a crowd favorite slot canyon hike on the border of Utah and Arizona. There are many trails of variable difficulty, so you can choose your own adventure. They range from three to 20 miles, and you can do a day hike or a multi day camping trip. We chose the day trip option and accessed the Slot Canyon from Wire Pass Trail. This is the uh, most insane hike we've ever done. These walls are like, I'm really bad at estimating heights, but like they're really high. <laughs> like really high, making me feel really tiny. Wow. friend that we met in Baja Mel and a friend that she introduced us to and now we're gonna go 
set up camp somewhere they've been camping that they say is amazing. That was great. I feel alive. One of my favorite parts, in case you were wondering, what? It's just that our timing was impeccable because we got a musical performance there. Okay, Have thank you. You too. Thank you. Our first stop this morning is Horseshoe Bend. So we are going to go check out this massive cliff that looks over a horseshoe shaped curve on the Colorado River. And I believe we'll be standing a thousand feet above the water. Horseshoe Bend was amazing. I think we probably saw the most people there that we have seen since Las Vegas. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but it was pretty great because it's super accessible. Yeah, everyone so. gets to enjoy it because it's a serious sight to be seen. Yeah, uh, it was magical. Loved it. See you tomorrow. Good morning from Moab. <laughs> we're quickly falling in love with this place. Right now we're pulled over before we do a beautiful hike and we need some fuel. Okay, go. We are heading to the Corona Arch and it feels like we are on another planet. Specifically Mars. To the stone rainbow is what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> Honestly, this country is seriously amazing us. America, you are stunning. Here we go. Oh yeah, air conditioning. How do you feel about it, Paul? Yeah, thought so. See you next time when we continue our Utah shenanigans and check out some amazing spots. Thanks for watching. We love you. Hope we made you smile. Yeah.